In this video, we are looking at Sound Rhyme SP01. This one is uh, priced at $90. And uh, if you have coupons, if you are one of those who have uh, Panon sponsored coupons, you can get $15 of discount on it. I would like to thank Super User One for sponsoring this video. This one, this unit is bought for him and uh, i would like to thank him for letting me uh, review and unbox this on behalf of him we are looking at a single dd 10 mm nano tube dlc driver this this is kind of this kind of feels heavy i'm not exactly sure uh, about the contents of this box but uh, i'm not expecting a metal case inside but it is fairly heavy fairly heavy heavier than I was expecting it to be. In any case, let's have a look. So this is slightly, <laughs> yeah, we are getting a 4.4 mm cable with this. Uh, I requested for the 4.4 mm cable because uh, I do not prefer single ended. Single ended is okay. I'm not uh, against it or anything like that. But uh, if there is a 4.4 mm termination available, I will say uh, get that. That is much better than the single ended and uh, going balanced is always better in any case uh, let's open open the box up looks good but yeah still heavy let's see no no metal case but uh, this is exactly what we see with uh, lead shore they they have a very similar kind of uh, case i have seen a lot of this and uh, these are spacious no issues with uh, space or anything like that so this is good. This is uh, decent for a $90 IEM and uh, we will look into the uh, IEM later. The cable looks good too. The cable looks good. There are no issues at all. But let's have a look at the accessories first. This is, uh, yeah, this is a hard paper box and we are getting a cleaning cloth up front and there is a cleaning tool behind it not exactly what we see with uh, most but uh, this one looks interesting we get some tips six pack yeah this is the hept this is the hept i was talking about this one is this block of uh, metal is heavy now yep 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 this is the hept this is the extra bit of hept i was talking about uh, we are getting three pair of tuning nozzles the balanced one is already on the IEM and uh, we get clear and warm clear is supposed to be uh, enhancing the treble while warm is supposed to be a bit more smoother and uh, favorable for bass in any case and uh, yeah this is interesting clear has a uh, wider bore while the warm has a narrow bore so yeah this is this is very interesting I like this kind of setup because uh, you can see and uh, feel the impact of the uh, tuning nozzle and uh, that is that is much more appreciated than uh, those uh, filters placed inside the nozzles in any case uh, we get six pair of uh, tips and i think uh, i'm going to use the wider bore one i'm not exactly sure which one has wider bore but it seems the green tip has wider bores and uh, Yep, yep, I'm going to use the green one. The the clear ones look nice too, but yeah, no doubts that the green ones have a wider bore and I prefer wider bore because uh, uh, they, they have a bit more open sounding uh, performance there. If we look at the cable, cable is slightly stiff. We get an eight core cable, so that is a good thing. It kind of feels slightly stiff and has a bit of memory issue but this is not bad for a uh, $90 IM you guys can see there is a bit of memory issues not a big deal at all uh, it is mostly because of the tightly braided uh, cores or else this is decent cable no problem with the cable or anything like that so uh, that is good and this is lightweight too not heavy so that is a, a good thing and the earpieces are slightly heavy slightly heavy because of the metal construction and they look very good i like this kind of design this is this is uh, looking nice and you guys can see this is very small and uh, the nozzle is fairly long 
no issues uh, with the uh, build at all and uh, yeah i like this kind of uh, smaller designs too 10 mm dd and uh, this the design is uh, very good no problem with the design or anything like that i will compare it with uh, a handful of iams i have a lot of iams in the 100 dollar price range you find dell c lecture as 08 uh tina fi dudu too so i will compare it with uh, uh, plethora of uh, iams and uh, uh, i will include a uh, initial impression in this video so too so this is it guys thank you for watching have a nice day enjoy i just had a decent listening session with the sound rime sp01 and i have to say i am super impressed with this one usually what happens iams in the dollar 80 90 even 100 price range do not offer solid performance across the spectrum but somehow down the line even with the balanced filter i found the sp01 to be delivering very good bass very good mid range clarity and the treble is not bad either so i will have to say that this is one of the most complete sounding iam in the under dollar 100 price range price that just 90 dollars i felt that it has very good sub bass depth very good rumble too and it is picking uh, good sub bass rumble in most of the tracks so it's not like it is moody or something like that it has good consistency and mid bass is not very heavy handed so that is a good thing yes at times it kind of feels like it is a bit on the slower side but that does give it a bit more enjoying factor enjoyable it it makes the uh, presentation more enjoyable while the mid range is not in the v the vocals are not in the v and that is a great thing in my opinion at times what happens uh, even with the kefine delsi to that has a bit of depression in the uh, vocal region and it kind of feels like depression after the vocal region to be precise that kind of feels like it is slightly uh, congested it it feels like it is a bit more uh, constrained it is not that airy but there is no such issues with the sp01 it kind of feels like more balanced more uh, open in that region at least yes the treble is not very airy or anything like that it kind of feels like it is a bit on the warm or fuller thicker side and the notes are heavy and they are not very agile but for a 90 dollar iam i cannot ask a lot from it and uh, it sounds very good i will not say it sounds dark but yes there is a slight bit of uh, uh, lack of energy it is not in the same level as the mid range or the bass but there is no issues with that uh, darkness so that is a good thing unlike the let sure as 08 which kind of feels slightly on the dark darker side uh, and the stage stage is what makes this one uh, stand out in my opinion it it has a big stage and it sounds very very good it has very good air and the movement is uh, good i will say good because it kind of feels like the air in that stage is very thick and uh, instruments are not very freely they are not moving very freely it kind of feels like the air is a bit too thick okay so yeah they are there they kind of feel like they are moving but they are not that great with the sonic movement okay the transient effect is not exactly very clean but these are early days initial impression i haven't put in more than 15 20 minutes into the iam so i am expecting it to open up uh, the air is supposed to uh, get cleaner uh, more thinner too so yeah i am expecting the sound rime sp01 to open up a bit more and we will see how how this performs against uh, a handful of iams in this price range so this is it this is my initial impression and uh, unboxing of the 
Sound Drive SP01. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Enjoy.